Okay, we have the uh, Pitt Pittsburgh long handle panel uh, automotive uh, plastic rivet uh, trim panel removal kit. This one is huge. And it was only 20 bucks, so really not such a bad price. We got six pieces here, and what they are is three different styles in both short handle and long handle. Man, that's a huge package. So what we have here is 10 inch and 20 inch versions, and what we what they have is uh, a narrow head, a medium head, and a wide head. And so these are uh, double angled, so sometimes these won't fit in uh, all the situations, but there's a variety of uh, body and trim tools. And I think I actually collected up most of the Harbor Freight ones, so I'll do a video just comparing all those. Uh, but these are the stronger metal plastic rivets, so these are for getting you know, all the interior plastic panels off, door panels, uh, interior tin panels, those types of things, and you just have different ones, so you have forks that get uh, around the, the rivet, but if you have smaller areas, you really want to have some support And so that's why they have these different widths here Just so if you have a real small rivet, that's like one of those corrugated style then come on camera <laughs> Then this little notch will support it real close to the edge of the rivet So it doesn't want see the problem is is if you use too big of one on a small rivet Then the forks are too wide and they can just actually fold the edges of the rivet over and not properly remove it or break other plastic things. Not a lot else to say about these. They're actually pretty cheap. I'm surprised I haven't even picked these up uh, until now after all these years. These longer ones, they're a bit flexy, but I suppose that they'll have more than enough strength to be able to break just about any or pop just about any type of plastic rivet. And that's really the nice thing about these tools is just the fact that you're actually reaching under the rivet and popping it, you know, linearly to the place where it's mounted. Because many times you'll get up the edge of a body panel and then you're just kind of pulling it, reaching around the edges just to pop those rivets out. But you're pulling at an angle and that's why many of them break. So as you're pulling off the panel, as you, you know, pry it, then you can get these tools in there and just pop the rivets nice and easy and with a little bit more directed force right at the top of the rivet. And uh, it works out better that way. What I do like about the narrow one is you not just for rivets but this is can be just a general spatula tool uh, for removing plastic panels not a lot else to say about these they have some type of over molding which i'm sure will melt if they get any certain types of i like brake fluid and stuff on them just a silk screen pittsburgh at least they have a hole through the handle so you can hang them somewhere the short ones are more than strong enough it's just that on these longer ones you can feel just a bit of flex but really that's uh not too bad to tell you the truth. It's kind of hard to find uh, these style of steel ones, which are going to be the stronger than the uh, various plastic ones that they make. But they'll be great for things like uh, any type of uh, automotive under paneling uh, that's riveted, uh, wheel well liners, that type of stuff. This is that's really what these are optimal for is all those other types of situations, rivets that are holding on all these uh, plastic bumper covers. Uh, these are really a nice, or I should. They're not super nice, but at least they're halfway decent. That's kind of the one thing I was noticing on the shelf. I was looking through the kits, and many times with these cheap Harbor Freight tools, like when they do the notching here, it's just super inconsistent. But I was actually pretty surprised that most of the packages were fairly symmetrical, actually seemed to be made uh, with just a little bit more attention to detail. So you didn't have to dig through, you know, five sets on the, on the rack just to find one that was... Uh, made and uh, made you know symmetrically and decently and so that was a little bit surprising about these probably why they're 20 bucks instead of 15 bucks or something like that anyway i thought i'd bring these uh do my little review on these harbor freight body and uh, trim panel tools and i uh, thought these are actually pretty handy especially the long ones and uh, i'm surprised you know i've always just used other tools but now that i have these these will definitely be the go-to and they'll actually be uh pretty well used one of those tools for me where if I, uh, you know, I didn't really need it, but once you uh, finally get them, you say, gosh, I should have got these uh, a lot sooner because they make things just easier and quicker and a little faster. And with less plastic broken rivets, things go back on more nicely. Uh, and you have less broken ones that you have to go buy from Napa or the dealer. Anyway, I really appreciate everybody who's been watching and subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, 
please do. Until next time, Catus Maximus out.